welcome back to another grilling video and today we are doing smoked salmon on the Pit Boss Pro Series smoker. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Not a hard cook to do at all and the ingredients are pretty simple. We just need some salmon. I like to use a whole filet and I do like to have it with the skin still on one side. Um, I actually personally prefer Pacific Northwest or Alaskan, any cold water salmon. Atlantic salmon to me isn't quite as good, but it certainly is an okay one as well. This is sockeye salmon, and I just bought it at my local grocery store. It was frozen, we let it thaw out overnight in the fridge, and I've now opened the package, and I'm just letting it sit out in the air for a few minutes. What I wanna have happen is for it just to um, reduce some of the moisture on it, not get it completely dry, but reduce it a little bit. We're gonna use whatever your favorite rub is. I'm actually gonna be using this Barbecue Pit Boys uh, Big Texan rub. It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory. Um, that's certainly good. And we're gonna be making a glaze when we're all done with this. It's gonna be a teriyaki soy glaze with a little bit of butter, soy sauce, and teriyaki. That's really it. This is a pretty simple cook. I've got the Pit Boss Pro Series Combo um, grill right now at about 300 degrees. We wanna cook this at about 275, and I think 300 on the upper shelf is gonna give me just the right thing. Now I'll show you a trick I like to do. You can actually cook this right on butcher paper on the actual grill. So I've cut a piece of butcher paper that's a little bit longer than my filet. And when I cook it, I'm actually gonna fold the butcher paper in half. But right now, that butcher paper is gonna be used to catch some of my extra um, rub that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have it on a little wire rack and this is really just for the rub portion of this. And I live in the humid southeast US and um, that means things like rub always end up getting a little bit hardened. So we're just going to go ahead and put it on a nice liberal coating of this. There we go. And now we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. What we want to look at is it should have a sheen on it. That's when we know that the moisture from the uh, fish has soaked up into the actual rub. That's what we're looking to have happen here. Now, I told you about this little trick before. Now, what I do is I'll take this rack, and I'm just going to set it aside here for a minute, and then I'm going to fold my paper up. I can dump my extra rub that came into this right into the trash can, and I'm now going to put my fish right onto this doubled up butcher paper. There we go. That way I can pick this up and put it right into the grill. Heck, we can even put it on top of here just to make it even easier to pick up. All right, let's let this rub adhere to this a little bit. So it's been about 10 minutes and what we're getting is this nice little um, sheen on this thing. Let me zoom in, I'll show you what that looks like. That's when you know it's ready to go ahead and pop into the smoker. All right, with this guy glistening, it is now time to pop it into the smoker. Again, the beauty is we can do this right on the paper. All right, so that salmon could take anywhere from 20 minutes to 40 minutes or so. Um, you're probably supposed to cook your salmon to about 135 to 140. If you start to go above about 140, especially if you have a high fat content in your salmon, you'll start to see these little white bubbles that come to the top. It's not very appealing looking when you get done with it. So I'm gonna try to do mine a little bit less than that. I'm gonna try to go to about 125. So I've got my little uh, instant read thermometer here. We'll continue to check the temperature on it. Let me go ahead and probe it now, and then we're gonna go ahead and make us a nice little glaze that we'll put on it about five to 10 minutes before it's done. So when this gets to about 115, I'm gonna start glazing it. We're sitting at about 116 degrees right now. So I'm gonna make this glaze really simple. I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter in here, probably about two tablespoons or so of butter. A little bit of soy sauce, uh, probably two tablespoons, and about two to two and a half tablespoons of teriyaki. Another great glaze to do is a little bit of um, maple syrup and butter, or a little bit of bourbon maple syrup and butter. That's another good one. We're just going to whisk this up a little bit. Now it looks kind of gross because the butter's in it, but I'm just going to set this right in the grill just to let this warm up a little bit and then we'll brush it onto our salmon. And put this on. Pen this right in a nice thick spot here. 
Yeah, we're already at 129, so. Now you can baste this in your grill or you can baste it outside of it, depending on whether you have a strong desire to keep it very clean. That's usually the deciding factor there. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this glaze here. Over here, yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. You can say which way my patio leans here. So the good news is I can just put this right underneath it and catch some of those drippings. <laughs> Let that cook for about 10 minutes and glaze up on there and we'll add one more layer of that glaze on it. All right, been about five minutes. I'm just glazing this one last time. All right, so it's sitting at about 132 degrees. We've glazed it twice in the last 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and pull it out, let it cool off just a little bit. We want that glaze to just sort of get tacky on the outside of it. That's what the teriyaki's for. It's kind of sticky compared to the soy sauce. All right, let's pull this out. All right, we're gonna let this cool for just a few minutes and then we'll give this guy a taste test. looks just delicious. It's peeling right up off the skin. It's got that delicious flaky look to it. All right, everybody, that's it. It is smoked salmon and it is delicious. Time for a bit of a taste test. Let me break off a piece of this. Yeah, it's, it's pink inside, it's juicy. It doesn't have those little white bubbles because it's overcooked and the high fat content that came through. Um, a little bit sticky on the outside from that uh, teriyaki sauce. Let's give it a shot. Mm. That is really good. This is simple and easy. And the best thing about this is if you have leftovers of this, break this stuff up, put it in a bowl, make a delicious salmon salad, salmon cakes. There's all kinds of wonderful things you can make. Heck, put it on some bagels with some cream cheese, a little bit of lox. <laughs> mm. That is good. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, smoked salmon on the Pit Boss Pro Series Smoker. Bye y'all, safe and happy grilling. We'll see you next week.